Hey guys, I am coming on live again. So I've already recorded this, but I am not very tech savvy with this new website I was using. And um, so I think the broadcast was okay, but then it's the uploading after that wasn't working. And I think that's the most important thing because people aren't gonna hop on these live. Um, so there needs to be a replay option for them. So welcome to my three-day series on um, mood, movement, and oil, or sorry, mood, movement, and mama. So it's my mm, oil series, and oils are so delicious, so it just fit that there was three M's that I'm gonna be chatting about. So it's gonna be three days, three topics, and three exclusive promos associated with them. So I'm super pumped because these are all topics I love using my oils for. So I use my oils every day for my moods, my movement, maybe not my movement every day, but at least four to five days a week. And then because I am a mama, I really need the oils to support me in that area. So we are gonna be chatting about moods today. And like I said, there will be an exclusive promo relating to that topic. So today's will relate to today that I'm gonna have available for you for 24 hours. And I will, I've already popped that up on my, in, or my, um, my Facebook feed so you can check that out and um, that will be available until tomorrow at 11 a.m. when our new topic of movement and exercise comes up. So let's first kick off with what are emotions. So they are information carrying molecules. I feel like I'm an expert at this now because I did a rehearsal live prior to this. So um, emotions are emotion or information carrying molecules that bind and react with cell receptors. So then they go into the in into the cell and impact the function and behavior. So our, our emotions are very powerful. They're actually binding and then going into our cells and impacting our bodies. So that's why when you have this wave of emotions, that's what you're, you're experiencing it at this chemical level. So I, I'm gonna chat about why essential oils for moods because this is one area that I really do target with my oils every day, every day without, without fail, okay? So I love using the oils to support my moods and emotions. So they come from nature, very important fact, right? So you won't experience any side effects like you would with um, pharmaceuticals and medicine and um, you won't have that reliance on medication to help you with your moods. So, and you're, with that, you're also not becoming reliant on medication to, um, to kind of layer on helping with the side effects, so getting a new one to help with the side effects. These come from nature, so they're natural, they're gonna work with your body in a holistic way. And essential oils are relatively cheap, especially when we're comparing to um, medicines and um, pharmaceuticals, okay? So sometimes they're as little as pennies a drop, and really one drop of essential oil is all you need. It is very pure and potent, especially if you're using uh, therapeutic oil like doTERRA's. Um, and then they're also multi-purpose, so you don't just have to use the oils for that mood switcher, you know? You can actually help with your mood. They can help with your mood, but then they can do various other things. So maybe you're gonna be green cleaning with these oils, which I just chatted about at 10 a.m. in um, an online educational oil series that me and a bunch of other leaders are running. And maybe they can help with an ailment. So essential oils are very multifaceted and you can use them in a lot of different areas. So let's chat about the power of scent and how, um, aromatically using essential oils is very powerful. So first up is just simply taking a bottle of essential oil and inhaling directly from the bottle. So you're keeping very simple. So when you inhale the oil, it actually hits the olfactory bulb in your nose and it and it travels to the limbic system in your brain. And this is where we are, where the emotions are processed and our memories are stored. So it's such a direct access to that part of your brain that scent is a very strong smell, okay? So it's actually the fastest way to affect our mood. So think back when you, um, say you're walking down the street and you smell your grandma's perfume and it brings you back to that Saturday morning, those Saturday mornings when you used to spend with your grandma, okay? So scent alone is very powerful and can really trigger those, those emotions, the, the flood of emotions and um, the, the trigger of the memories too. Okay, so another great way to benefit from the power of scent is diffusing. So this would be a great way to start your day to shift your mood. So whether you wanna diffuse in the morning, afternoon, and evening, that's what I try and aim for. So one to three times a day for as little as 15 to 30 minutes. So you're probably in your kitchen making breakfast, getting lunches prepared for you and your, and your kids. So why not start off the morning by having um, oils in your diffuser going to really help set, set the tone for the day and start off in a great way. So those are um, the ways that you can benefit from the oils aromatically to help with your mood. 
Let's just quickly chat about what is causing our mood. So these are in no particular order, but they definitely do contribute to how we, we feel in a day. So exercise, so getting moving and getting and releasing those feel good endorphin hormones, you know, throughout the body um, and not only benefiting from your body getting the exercise, but then you have that shift in your mood. So making exercise a priority of three times a week, as little as that, I ran three miles this morning to get me pumped up for today and I feel great because of it. Um, sleep is another um, area that impacts our mood. So getting eight hours of sleep is really important. So I know that I definitely notice a difference when I don't get eight hours of sleep. And um, that's because this sleep doesn't only help with your mood, but it helps with memory and focus. So how many times have you not gotten enough sleep and you notice you're not as focused. So sleep is very important for, for your moods. And then this is becoming a more common one. Um, imbalance of hormones, okay? So that impacts your mood too. So I've, I've, I've noticed like a lot of people coming to me lately with that whole issue of an imbalance of hormones. So it's one to consider for sure. And then the last one I wanna share is diet and gut health. And I'm gonna touch on gut health in just a minute, but just know that those are important for impacting your mood as well. So now I'm gonna to touch on what, how emotions and moods are processed throughout the body, okay? So we actually have three brains so <laughs> in the body. Obviously we have our physical brain up here, which is our mind and it controls the logic and intellect and our subconscious mind. Um, so these are the three brains in our body that help process emotions through, throughout the body, okay? So, it, so our mind, so where our intellect and logic comes from, this is the subconscious mind that directs over 90% of our behavior. So obviously it's the primary one, as, as you know, right? Um, but people might not think of these other two brains. So number two is your heart, so your intuition. So there's actually more neural pathways that run from the heart to the brain than the other way around. So using your heart to make a decision and um, trusting that you feel a way because of your heart is very powerful as well. And then your third brain comes in your gut. So you know that gut feeling where you, it's just wrenching and you know you should run in the opposite direction, you know, from, you just get that feeling in your gut. So that's where your third brain is. And um, this is actually where 90% of body serotonin, so this is actually the, the regulating, so this regulates our moods. So 90% of the serotonin production is from within our gut. So it's produced in our gut, okay? So I wanna focus on this more, especially since that's where, um, where, where our moods are regulated in the gut. So we wanna make sure we have healthy gut and um, I'm just gonna go over the importance of our gut health. So there have been recent studies on how healthy gut flora can improve mood and reduce anxiety. So I know it might seem weird to think about our gut affecting and you know assisting our mood, but um, here are a few ways to really make sure that our gut stay healthy, okay? So number one would be eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, um, beans and grains, so high fiber foods, so we have the systems moving, moving consistently, right? And then eat and drink fermented items, so kimchi, sauerkraut, um, tempeh is a uh, fermented soy product, and drinking kombucha. So I'm just gonna quickly turn, so if you see that bottle over there, that is me brewing kombucha. So I have some, some kombucha brewing up and then I have some that I flavored and um, I'm waiting to drink it and it'll probably be ready soon. So um, having those, those, those food and drink products that really help with your gut flora and, and um, contribute to a healthy gut. And then um, another um, way to benefit or to keep your gut healthy would be to cut back on artificial sweeteners and processed foods. So keeping those minimal and keeping with whole, real, fresh foods. And then taking a good pre and probiotic. So this is where I wanted to talk about the first product is um, doTERRA's PD Assist. So this is a pre and probiotic and we actually call it the alien, <laughs> the alien supplement because, I'm gonna show you one second. See how it has two capsules, okay? So it's like doo 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 doo. So it's green and um, it's, so what it is is it's double encapsulated, meaning that, um, it's gonna deliver to where it needs to in the gut. And the prebiotics are actually what assist the probiotics. So they help ensure that the probiotics can do what they need to do in the gut and to maintain a, a healthy gut flora. So pro and prebiotics are definitely really key for ensuring that your, your gut stays healthy. <laughs> it does look like a little robot, it's so accurate. Um, so some oils to assist in moods. So first we're gonna start off with lavender. I don't have the actual lavender oil here, but I have a pre-diluted version, so this comes in a roller bottle. And so lavender can help ease sadness, it helps with anxiety and tension, it can soothe and calm the nervous system and help with agitation. So I am pretty wired right now because I am very introverted in nature and I just did 
um, a talk on green cleaning prior to this and now I'm doing this so I can get very you know sweaty palms and really really uptight and anxious and like even before I went on my heart was pounding so I'm like okay just just calm down you're fine so this would be a good one to help ease tension so I could simply roll this on the back of my neck and it'll just help you know ease any of those anxious feelings you're experiencing so that's a one way to really assist your moods another oil that I love for moods are or is frankincense so this is the king of the oils and this can help soothe it brings peace and satisfaction um, promotes relaxation and balances the moods and I actually love to use it before something like yoga too to promote that connection to spirituality and um, get into a more meditation state and if I'm having a really off day or my toddler is because she um, she'll start that she's very sensitive <laughs> So if I tell her to change out of the pink pants because the blue pants match better, that could set her off into a crying spiral. So I will often use this for mood support too. So putting a drop under my tongue to just help me have a better day so that she can have a better day too. Um, so frankincense is a very powerful oil for moods. And then next up I have wild orange. I don't have it here because I think it's actually in my daughter's bathroom. But um, wild orange, so any citrus, citrus oils are very uplifting. So in stress, you could um, take a deep inhale of it, put a drop in your hands, rub them together and inhale. So it's very energizing and revitalizing. It soothes anxiousness, so it's another good one. I actually love pairing lavender and wild orange together. They're beautiful together, especially for rest and relaxation. Um, it helps soothe anxiousness. I think I said that. Eases sadness plus boosts energy. So this is a morning staple of mine. I love um, even putting a drop of wild orange in your water to just really invigorate for you for the day. Um, and again, like I said, this is applicable to other, other citrus oils as well. So lemon, lime, bergamot, grapefruit, all good. And then um, fourth oil I want to chat about is um, peppermint. So peppermint is very invigorating. So it can help boost your energy. It clears the mind and lifts the mental fog. So it's good if you are lacking on sleep. It, it's a great one to go to, especially midday when you are experiencing that slump. So what I love to do is even put a sim as simple as putting a drop in my hands, again, rubbing together, taking a deep inhale and then rubbing the extra on the back of your neck. Very powerful to shift that, that mood and really get you into an alert state. Um, so yeah, so when you're low in energy, go to, go to peppermint for sure. The next oil I'll chat about, I have a couple more would be ylang ylang. So this is a very floral scented oil. Um, it's one, I have a really strong sense of smell. So when I first got this oil, I, it was really powerful for me, but it's so, so good. So it helps ease sadness. It can calm anxious feelings, good for relaxation and releasing anger. So you could even put a few drops of essential oils in your bath at nighttime too. So this is a great one. I love putting this in my bath, like two to three drops with Epsom salts and just really help promote relaxation and calming and, and all that. And then the final oil I'm going to chat about is one that I couldn't live without. And in, in all honesty, it's balanced. So this is the grounding blend. And this is like my oil, my oil. I love this one so much and I rely on it daily. I wake up and I put that on the bottoms of my feet just so I can feel rooted and grounded like the, like the blend implies. Um, it can help promote relaxation and it helps ease anxious feelings. That's why it is an oil for me because I am a more anxious person as I get older, it seems. And it can help you feel balanced, like the name implies, which, which is the name of it. Plus, there are some beautiful essential oils that doTERRA has put out a line of that are actually formulated to provide targeted emotional health benefits. So this is their emotional aromatherapy line, and this is actually the pre-diluted versions. They come in just the oil bottles, too, that you can put in your diffuser and, and such. This is the one that I wanted to show you, is the pre-diluted versions. So um, there are six in that in that kit, and so what I love with is using that kit. So after a day, and you're you're you know you're you're experiencing these emotions, busting those out, taking a smell of all of them, and seeing which one you're drawn towards, because the oils will tell you what you need. So and then taking the one that smells the best to you that day, and then you can roll it on your wrists and um, really benefit from the oil as like a, a pure fume. Um, so quickly with those oils. They, there is Motivate, which is the encouraging blend. So I love using this before a workout or when I need to get some work done or when my toddler is driving me crazy. Um, and then next is Cheer. So it's the uplifting blend. And I actually have this oil of one of my daughter's blends just to help her feel more uplifted. Um, and then we have Passion. So this is the inspiring blend and it smells so delicious. And then Console is more like 
if you're if you're grieving or you've had a had a sad day, this is one of the ones to go to. So the so the comforting blend console, and then forgive. I think a lot of people might need this after the election. Um, so this is the renewing blend and um, very nice too. And then my second favorite from the line would be peace. So this is the reassuring blend and it just connects with me again. It is very grounding. It helps. It helps um, with feeling more more rooted and it does have some of those earthy oils. So what I like to do with this, since this one is pre-diluted, I'll just roll it on my wrist and wear it like a perfume. And I just love the smell of it, it's so nice. And then if you have been following me, you might know that I am a huge advocate for custom roller blends and using them to assist moods. I have literally roller blends that I make for every mood possible, whether it's a peaceful blend, um, feeling confident, um, emotions, feeling like superwoman, abundance. I make roller blends for everything that I'm either wishing to be or wishing to seek or what I really need support in. So I love making roller blends with oils that speak to me to help with those properties and then simply rolling them over the heart, on the bottoms of the feet, on the wrist like I showed, like on, on um, like wearing like a perfume and any other pulse points and then down the back of the neck. So, um, and I love this about oils when we're talking about moods is that one drop of essential oil, because remember they are very pure and potent, they can serve the whole body slash every cell in your body in a matter of minutes. So crazy, right? So just one drop can go and travel throughout the whole body. So, um, so the oils are so powerful for your moods. And then I'm just going to quickly talk about two resources for helping with your mood. So uh, this is one book and I love this book. So it's called Emotions and Essential Oils. And it's such a great resource to go to. So for example, um, it tells you how the oils can really assist you in different areas. So I'm using grapefruit as an example. It's the oil of honoring your body. So then it will list a little bit more about the oil and how it can help. And then it'll, sh it'll show you the negative emotions if you're trying to overcome those and the positive properties that can come from them. So one other oil I like as, as an example from this book is, um, um, sorry, lavender is the oil of communication. So prior to these videos, knowing that lavender is the oil of communication, I rolled it down the front of my throat to promote open communication and be able to, you know, deliver this information to you guys effectively. So very powerful properties that the, that the oils can help in assisting with our moods. And then the other thing is this emotional or oils and emotions wheel. So if you don't wanna to go to the book, this is a simple way to look at the positive. So this is the positive side, this is the negative side. So if you're in a funk and you have these negative emotions and you're trying to figure out how do I go from feeling jealous to um, you know less jealous. So a good oil for jealousy would be cinnamon. So whether you put that on or um, put it in a diffuser blend. So this can help identify what, what, what feelings you wanna try and get away from or what feelings you wanna feel more of. So I love going to this wheel too and it's laminated so it's nice, it won't, it won't get damaged or anything. So I love going to that too. Okay, and since this is my second time recording this video, um, prior to this one I had said, oh, I'm gonna be posting my promo for the day after this, but it's actually on my wall, so check for it. So I have a promo going on for those that wanna get started today. Um, I know that the oils have been so beneficial to me, so I can't help but share them with, with other people. So I have two different promos going on today. I'm calling it a level one and a level two. So people getting started with level one, I'm um, getting started with an, a kit called Aroma Touch Diffuse because it has a lot of the oils I chatted about here today, especially if the emotional side of the oil speaks to you. So getting started with that or a 100 point order and we could chat more about what the points mean. And then for doing that, I would gift you with a free five milliliter bottle of Wild Orange. So one of the oils we did chat about and one that's very uplifting for the mood. Or level two would be to get started with the Home Essentials Kit and that's actually the kit I got started with over a year ago and I wouldn't change it because I love everything about that kit and it was a great starter kit for just everyday everyday use with, of the oils in your life. So getting started with that or a 200 point order and I'll gift you with this free peppermint touch. So those are the two promos I have going on. It will be available for 24 hours and then it will switch over to the top topic we're gonna to talk about tomorrow, which is movement and exercise. So I hope this was helpful. Post any questions you have below if I didn't answer them regarding um, moods and oils, um, but hope this was helpful and I will see you guys tomorrow at 11 to chat about movement and exercise, which is another topic I love. All right, have a great day, guys.